This is Suzo Creek. Of its 125 kilometers length, a 53 kilometer stretch flows through the city of Shanghai, where it joins the Yangtze River near the Bund. Shanghai people call Suzo Creek their mother river. Chong Xianzang is a senior photographer with a magazine called Shanghai Pictorial. As a professional photographer who has lived by Suzo Creek for over 30 years, Mr. Chong has observed and recorded its changing history through his camera. This is a Suzo Creek, a small and small and 它承担着上海的生活垃圾的这个运输，就是它在那个苏州河上来来回回每天走的，有相当一部分都是运垃圾的，所以它有无数个垃圾码头在那个苏州河两岸。In the 1920s, the factories that were springing up along Suzo Creek began discharging pollution into its waters. In the 1950s and 60s, the problem was becoming serious, particularly in the Shanghai section. With the start of the economic boom in the late 1970s, the waters of Suzo Creek turned black and foul-smelling. Waste water from factories and houses poured directly into the river, killing the fish and shrimp and causing severe harm to the natural environment. Eventually, the municipal government decided to launch a campaign to clean up the creek. 那么我们呢，就是把苏州河啊消除黑臭啊，作为一个系统来考虑。那么主要采取的措施，第一个是治本的措施，就是接物资，建设污水处理厂进行处理以后排放。第二呢，就是一个调河水体，呃，把苏州河啊变成一条单向的河道，那么使得它水啊，就是由西向东。这样来进行单向的一个流动。那么第三呢，我们建设了一条那个暴气负氧船，那么对苏州河啊进行冲氧。In addition, the waterway was dredged. The old factories and houses along it were demolished and relocated. The rubbish disposal wharfs were removed, and trees and bushes were planted along the banks. This 呢是大概也是有排了有五年。也说明了一个苏州河的一个根本性的变化，就是海鸥呢翩翩归来，重新回到苏州河。The local residents now take pleasure in the river, and many do their morning exercises on its banks. The 11-year project, costing two billion U.S. dollars, has transformed the once black and filthy creek into a place for sightseers. It also sets a good example for other polluted rivers in China to follow. Chong Xianchang is paying another of his regular visits to witness the ongoing revival of Suzhou Creek.